Hi, my name is Alex with Dave Tech Tech Tutorials, and today I'm going to be helping you as a Scrum Master solve a very critical problem. If you've ever gotten to the end of the sprint only to find out that all your issues have not been completed, and so you still have some incomplete issues, I'm going to teach you how to split an issue. This is just one of many different techniques that you have, but this is a pretty key and important one. But before we go into that video, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Drop a like if you get any value out of this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. Now, let's jump into Jira. Okay, so you do want to be in a company managed Scrum board. This is not going to really work for other ones because you really only care about the Scrum style because you have a sprint. And so if you're not dealing with sprints, then this video need not apply. But if you're a Scrum Master and you're running in a sprint and you've gotten to the end of the sprint and you now need to figure out how to split your issues, let me show you how to do that. But first, you typically don't know that you need to split an issue until you get to the end of the sprint and your sprint looks something like this, where you have a few items, most of the sprints completed, and then one thing's in progress and another thing's like maybe blocked or maybe it's still in progress as well. And you are basically presented with the dilemma of like, okay, so I'm about to complete my sprint because we ran out of time, but there's still work to be done. And so you, you basically have a few options. You can essentially just roll the story over. And this is perfectly fine. A lot of teams just roll the whole thing over. Other teams, and, and because Jira is going to give you this window here where you have the option to move it to a new sprint, which is the rolling, or you can move into the top of the backlog so that your product owner and your scrum master can essentially reconvene and figure out how they want to proceed. So those are the two options. But a hidden third option, which is what we're talking about today, is you can actually get out of the active sprint view, go to the backlog, and then find the stories that are not quite done. So for example, we know that there's mashed potatoes. I have two out of three subtasks com completed. And so I want to take credit. Those two out of three, this is 66, that's passing. That's not an F, right? And so I want to take credit. I want to take, I don't, I don't want to have to roll the entire story just because I didn't finish 33%. 66% is completely done. So how do you split a story? Well, the easy way, and you have to be, I repeat, you have to be in the backlog. This will not work in the active sprint view. You have to be in the backlog and you're just going to come to the issue that is of interest. You're going to right click on it and down here, you will have the option to split your issue. But when you click on this, you'll be presented with a window. And in this window, this is basically where you, I recommend you have your product owner and other stakeholders in the room when you do this, because now this is the window where you go, okay, so what did we finish, right? So maybe we did mashed potatoes preparation, but we didn't do mashed potatoes cooking, right? And so we can send that one to the backlog. We can send it to the next sprint. So if you already have the next sprint available, you can just send it there. If you want to just do the cooking and then maybe you want to do, you're like, you know what? We should decompose this a little bit more. Let's do mashed potatoes cooking, mashed potatoes uh, serving, right? So if you want to just break this up a little bit more with a little bit more detail, you can actually just create as many stories as you want. You can re-estimate these. So these can be like one pointers each. And you can throw them away if you want to. But essentially, once you kind of figure out and you can say, you know what, this one used to be a two. It we, we Let's just take credit. It was a one. And then we're going to split these up into two extra ones. And so depending on that conversation, whatever you and your product owner decide, however you want to tackle this particular problem, you can essentially create your stories, put your estimates, figure out if you're sending to a future sprint or if you're sending them to the top of that backlog. And then once you've kind of figured all that out, then click that split button. And now Jira is going to allow you to close out the top one. So now I can take this mashed potatoes, close it out. Obviously I won't be able to do it now because I have subtasks that are incomplete. That's a different problem for a different day. But now I, you can see here on the top of my backlog, I have the two new stories that I can now plan and prioritize into my next sprint. So as you can see, this is a pretty effective way. Just super simple, right? Just go to whatever issue is incomplete right click on it, split it, take credit for what's done, right? Fruit punch purchase. And then you'll have fruit punch serve. And you can give a story. Well, let's see the purchase was a five. 
the serving is going to be a three. And then when you when you have everything kind of lined up, just click that split button. And now you can essentially close the top one because it's done. You're taking credit for the work that got done. And then in the next sprint, we're going to just do that delta, whatever's remaining. And so over here, I can comfortably do this, move that to done. And now when I complete my sprint, I can take the right credit for the right work and not have to worry about rolling the whole story over. And again, this is just another tool. You, you really can do whatever you want here, but this is a common way, a popular way, I should say, to help mitigate that age old dilemma of like, uh Oh, what do we do now? So hopefully you found value out of this video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe, drop a like. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, so if you just want to tell me, Alex, this is the worst way, horrible advice, let me know in the comment section. But I know many of you are going to love this because especially if you didn't know you can split the issue, this is really, really a big saver in my opinion. And there's nothing wrong with splitting your issues, I, I, in my opinion. I think if you finish 80% of the work and you want to take credit for that 80%, you should take credit for that 80%. I think it's naive to think that your team should be able to complete 100% of the sprint. That That's not realistic. The real world doesn't work like that. And I recommend you take credit. Take credit for what you did get done. But just be careful because it could become a bad habit. And so like everything in life, there's a balance because too much of anything, you don't want to get into a habit where you're splitting every single story. You want to get ahead of the problem. So if, you, if you're wondering, well, how do I prevent having to have the need to, sp to split my issues? Make sure you start small from the get-go because if you're starting small and your stories are small enough from the get-go, then you're going to avoid having to split your issues later because your stories were already achievable. So if you haven't looked up in invest or deep, make sure you go look at those acronyms, those methodologies of creating stories because it'll help you get, get ahead of the problem as opposed to this is like we got the problem and now we're trying to fix, put a bandaid on it. So anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.